You know, uh, check the news. You know, the presidential race is really heating up. Can you feel it? Can you feel like, you know, people are getting really. <laughs> Iowa caucuses are just 11 days away, which means we're just 12 days away from not talking about Iowa for another four years. <laughs> and we will miss you. We'll miss you, Iowa. And with Iowa just around the corner, the latest poll showed Donald Trump in the lead. But. <laughs> you know what? I like him too. But. <laughs> Two. You might have to get used to him. You might have to get used to him. But to seal the deal, he needs evangelical voters. That's why he recently went to Liberty University, the largest evangelical college in the world, and wooed the crowd by praising their favorite book. I wrote The Art of the Deal. I wrote many bestsellers like The Art of the Deal. Everybody read The Art of the Deal. Who has read The Art of the Deal in this room? Everybody. I always say, I always say, a deep, deep second to the Bible. The Bible is the best. The Bible. The Bible blows it away. Yeah, the Bible, Bible blows it away. The Bible's good. It goes Bible, Art of the Deal, and then like Fifty Shades of Grey. They're all good. All good books. Trump loves the Bible so much, he doesn't even need to read it, apparently, because. He had a little trouble with the name of one of the books of the Bible, 2 Corinthians. I hear this is a major theme right here, but 2 Corinthians, right? 2 Corinthians 3.17, that's the whole ball game. Where the Spirit of the Lord, right? Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Is that the one? Is that the one you like? Yeah. <laughs> that is the one they like. That is the one they like. But here's the deal. Uh, John, you read the Bible. <laughs> You read the Bible, right? Okay. Yeah, I, okay. I do. Oh, you do read the Bible. Yes. Okay. Have you yes. ever heard anybody call it 2 Corinthians? Never in my life. <laughs> what is it called? 2 Corinthians. It's called 2 Corinthians. 2 yeah. Corinthians. And uh, saying like 2 Corinthians is like saying the book of Job. Right. <laughs> right. You right. know? Yeah. The Mexicans are coming here right. into our right. country. <laughs> To steal our book of jobs. <laughs> but the Panda Express did not stop there because while he was at Liberty University, Trump sat down with the Christian Broadcast Network's David Brody, who wasn't afraid to ask the tough questions. I'm curious, have you cried before? No, I'm not, I'm not a big crier. I like to get things done. I don't, you know, I'm not a big crier. Um, and, um, you know, not somebody that goes around crying a lot, but. Uh, I know people like that. I know plenty of people that cry. They're very good people, mm -hmm. but uh, I have not been a big crier. Not a big crier. Not a big crier at all. Nothing can make this man cry, okay? Not when Bambi's mother gets shot, you know? <laughs> not that Cheerios commercial where the grandpa has to live with his daughter and the granddaughter lays out all the favorite kinds of Cheerios. <laughs> not the end of Homeward Bound, the incredible journey when the old dog Shadow falls in the hole and breaks his leg. <laughs> So he can't climb out, and the other dog says, Come on, Shadow, you can do it. Don't lie down, Shadow, don't lie down. <sighs> but the point is, <laughs> real men don't cry. Now, Donald Trump is a real man. How do we know? Because he just got endorsed by the manliest man who ever manned. At the John Wayne Museum, Trump was endorsed by the late actor's daughter. And I'll tell you what, if John Wayne were around, He'd be standing right here instead of me. John Wayne would be very, very proud of you right now. It's an honor. And we love John Wayne. That's right. <laughs> with his newfound spirituality, with his newfound spirituality, Trump has reached with his golden hand through the veil of death and dragged back the endorsement of John Wayne. <laughs> the Duke, the toughest man not alive. And sure. Admittedly, it wasn't really John Wayne. It was John Wayne's daughter in front of a wax statue of John Wayne and what appears to be a wax statue of Donald Trump. <laughs> but for anyone out there who doubts this endorsement, consider this. If John Wayne were alive, he'd be a 108-year-old white guy, and that sounds like a Trump voter to me.